Hi, everybody. This is Steve Smith, the editor of PHC News Magazine. And today I'm joined by Rob McConnell, the business unit director for plumbing and HVAC from Little Giant. Rob, how are you today? Thanks for coming. Doing extremely well, Steve. Thanks for having me on. Tell us a little bit about what keeps you busy at Little Giant during the days. Well, uh, as the business unit director for our plumbing, HVAC, and strategic distribution segments, uh, it keeps me hopping, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Uh, Being involved in all the business units really brings to light a major difference between Little Giant and our competitors. Uh, Not only do we offer a very robust line of plumbing products, but we're also the industry leader on the HVAC side for the condensate removal. Mm -hmm. Steve, I'm sure you can appreciate how really unique that is. Uh, It shows how the company has been able to maintain continuous innovation to meet market demand. Mm -hmm. I like to refer to the Little Giant brand as the one-stop shop for all your needs. That keeps me pretty busy. I would say so. Now, in addition to all that, I I guess you're kind of a residential historian for Little Giant because one of the reasons, one of the big reasons we're here is that Little Giant celebrates 80 years in business this year. And we want to talk a little bit about um, the history of the company, what's new and exciting now, and uh, let's get into it. I mean, we got a lot of <laughs> we got a lot to unpack here, uh, Rob. We got eighty years to go through in uh, maybe uh, twenty minutes or half hour or so. But uh, what can you tell me from the beginning? I know I have a nice little history overview the company provided, and it all kind of started with a plumber, which I think is very fitting by the name of R.M. Doc Wolf. What, uh, what was going yeah. on? In 1926, too, goes back to the 20s, so almost 100 years. Uh, what was uh, what was the problems, I guess, of the day? For, well, you know, the Wolf plumbing business was very well known in the Oklahoma City area. Doc was a, an early adopter of installing and repairing early air conditioning equipment. Uh, mm-hmm. His biggest challenge was pumps failing at a frustrating rate, to be honest. At the mm-hmm. time, air conditioning units were just becoming popular. Each mm-hmm. unit had a pump to get water up into a screen for evaporative mm-hmm. cooling. And every time Wolf we'll fixed one of these pumps, it would fail again. That's mm-hmm. when Doc set out to find a solution to his problem. Which was? That's where he uh, hooked up with Harry Goodman. Yes. And so just to touch on that relationship, uh, Harry was an inventor that Wolf enlisted to create a solution to address Doc's needs. As a result, in 1941, the Little Mm -hmm. Giant Vaporizer was born, and so was Mm -hmm. the Little Giant brand. The two of them would meet at Doc's house to discuss the need to find a solution to Doc's problem. Uh, Later on, they would start to manufacture the vaporizer from Doc's garage. Kind of sounds familiar. I've heard of a few other companies that actually got started in a garage and have been quite successful. So yeah. interesting how that uh, all came together for for Doc and, and Harry. But this innovative uh, patent pump became the cornerstone of Little Giant. Uh, mm-hmm. This truly laid the foundation for a company dedicated to solving the pumping problems plumbers and HVAC professionals faced back then. Well, Rob, as you mentioned, uh, the garage, uh, a lot of good companies started out in that garage. So I'm glad that uh, <laughs> these two found that garage. So did my band, but we never made it out of the garage. <laughs> so did my band. <laughs> now, the Little Giant Vaporizer, that's the one that started it all, the, the, the product, the, the, the brand name for that matter, too. But you know, what, what exactly did it do that was, I guess, different? Uh, was there anything like it? Like, I mean, you mentioned air conditioning was pretty new then, so there probably were some yeah. problems. What 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 did the vapor, little giant vaporizer do? I guess that was the yeah. Big, so big well, I mean, it was developed. It was a, a solution to a problem. Is basically mm-hmm. what it was at that point in time. It was called the vaporizer, but it's not technically a vaporizer. Mm-hmm. Vaporizer as we know it today. The goal of the little giant vaporizer was to prolong the life of electric motors in mm-hmm. evaporator coolers. Mm-hmm. So they enclosed it in a sealed aluminum box to protect the motor from moisture. Uh, This actually led to innovating submersible motor products for new applications moving forward. It included larger sizes and eventually uh, to varying degrees of solids handling. So that's really what the vaporizer was was developed and all about. Good. So now that was in 1941 that the little vaporizer uh, came to be. 
So now um, let's jump ahead, I guess. Uh, not too, not too much of a jump, I guess. In the fifties, there was uh, more advents of uh, submersible pumps. What, what can you tell us about some of the that products and, and some of the other products? I guess that Little Giant was doing at the time. Sure. In uh, nineteen fifty, uh, Goodman filed a patent for what was to become the iconic Little Giant submersible water pump. This was actually an upgraded uh, vaporizer pump. Could mm-hmm. be used anywhere. Water circulation was an issue, both submersible and surface applications. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was a self-contained electric motor-driven pump, featured an inlet filter with screen and a discharge filter for the first time. Uh, It was really a small, low-pressure, high-volume pump that was used specifically for the recirculation of water for evaporative coolers, uh, Mm -hmm. garden fountains, light cooling oils for machine tools and many other transfer applications. This pump also paved the way for a wave of new product development in the decades to come. Okay. And so what were some of those uh, things that followed? There was a lot of innovative uh, products that followed that. Hard to narrow it down, but uh, I'll touch on a few of the key milestones. Okay. In 1950, the C2 and C3 pumps were introduced. This signaled the company's entrance into the condensate tank business, which later led to our current Uh, VCMA condensate tank pumps, a true staple in uh, today's Little Giant product uh, portfolio. Then in the early 60s, Little Giant held true to its core mission of developing innovative products to help solve problems for plumbers and HVAC technicians. That's when we introduced in 1964 the number eight series sump pump. Mm -hmm. It was available as an all cast iron or all cast bronze. Uh, There were two models, actually. There's a manual and a diaphragm switch automatic. Uh, From this, we went on to develop the vertical diaphragm switch, a little more compact, and and is still a key feature of some of our top-selling pumps today. Mm -hmm. Moving forward in 1965, we introduced the number six series, along Mm -hmm. with some larger horsepower models. And as you know, know, uh, the market has evolved over the years. But our six series continues to be a top performing sump pump throughout the industry today. Okay, very good. So we've gone from uh, the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And uh, I know there was a, a big change in 1980 uh, with uh, when the company was acquired by Tecumseh. What, uh, what can you tell us about that change at that time? Yeah, you know, when Tecumseh Products uh, acquired Little Giant, uh, Little Giant at the time held more than 20 patents. The innovation continued, and during the 80s and 90s, the company released more options <laughs> for sump, uh, effluent, sewage, uh, along with sewage basins, pumps for uh, pool cover applications, and decorative outdoor living products for the landscaping industry. Uh, more importantly, that's when the legendary 5 MSP utility pump was introduced okay. uh, during this period. And to this day, still ranks among the most compact, powerful u- utility pumps in the market. Uh, if you're ever parked outside of a, you know, a plumbing or HVAC uh, wholesale distributor, and you see the contractor, whether it be in the back of his uh, truck or van, the odds are uh, you're going to find one of our legendary five MSP utility pumps on board. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this is also known as the Water Wizard, right? That is correct. Is that the official term or unofficial term? I, I got to believe uh, that's a, that's the unofficial term. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, back back in the day, there was you know a lot of different names associated to our products, and and I haven't got all the answers on it. Our our six series was the Big John, and mm-hmm. and the five MSP, the Water Wizard. So I'll do some digging and and see if I can circle back and figure out where those mm-hmm. names came from. Well, it's a good name to have. It, it, it says it says what it needs to say. Exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, I, I guess another uh, big product development was in 1999 when Little Giant released the VCMA condensate pump, right? Mm-hmm. So what can we talk about there? So our VCMA, as I mentioned earlier, was developed from our, our C2 and C3 mm-hmm. original models. It's the number one leading condensate removal tank pump in the industry today. Again, mm-hmm. it's been a staple of Little Giant. Uh, from the VCMA, we've developed, you know, our VCMX, 
which is the uh, the next generation model. And again, mm -hmm. we've, we've gained some great traction with that. But that VCMA pump is is really the the staple and the backbone. Yeah. With along with the five NSP, those are the two you know the two products that are really the backbone of Little Giant. And then jumping ahead, I guess a little bit uh, in 2006, the company was acquired by Tecumseh Products. So I'm sorry, in 2006 it was acquired by Franklin Electric. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me get my facts right here. So what can we uh, talk about uh, with the new ownership by uh, by Franklin Electric. That was really pivotal in furthering Little Giant's innovation. I mean, Franklin uh, Franklin Electric added to the brand's talented team, uh, reinforcing their commitment to product improvement, uh, research and development, and maintaining the level of quality Wolf and Goodman built into their initial line of pumps. Uh, mm -hmm. The dedicated teams within Franklin have gone above and beyond in embracing, enhancing the core values of mm -hmm. the Little Giant brand. Uh, mm -hmm. Frank Electric's key factors for success ring true with the little giant brand today. Quality, mm -hmm. availability, service, innovation, and cost. Mm -hmm. And what, uh, I mean, we're talking a lot about products, but what about good old customer service here? What 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 can you add uh, uh, to that when, uh, when everything's said and done with the company? Well, number one, first and foremost, I mean, we have our are five key factors for success, but at the end of the day, it's all about our customer. Our customer service, our inside customer success specialists, our, our customer um, you know, service teams, and, and our, our product management teams, our marketing teams, everybody at Franklin is dedicated to customer service. Mm -hmm. And I've worked for a few different companies, not a lot during my career, well, I got to tell you, Franklin Electric goes above and beyond. There really is no equal to our yeah. customer service and how we treat our customers. Now, Rob, what uh, we talked a lot about the history of the company, which is always fun. It's always great to hear these old stories and these old products that no one thought about until they, until they were thought about and did exactly the job they needed to do. It's really quite a success when you hear about some of these things. Very inspirational, too. But what's happening now? With products, what's what's new and exciting? Uh, what's what's I guess the latest and greatest product to come out of the out of the pipeline? Our latest and greatest is uh, a model that we call our 16G. It's a mm -hmm. one horsepower grinder. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a great example of innovating around market demands. Uh, mm -hmm. We took the technology behind our patented two horsepower grinder offering and recently released it in a smaller one horsepower options mm -hmm. option. It's a great product. It's available as a standalone grinder pump or with one of our package pit plus systems. Mm -hmm. So that's what's you know new and exciting on on the plumbing side, and and we've had really great results and great acceptance of that product out in the market. Likewise, on the HVAC condensate removal space, we continue mm -hmm. with our innovation and product improvement. Uh, as you know, this is key to any uh, successful company. So, for example, mm -hmm. it. In the HVAC space, we introduced our new high temp condensate tank pump to our portfolio. Uh, this has been a great product to meet this market segment. We upgraded our VCC, which is a low profile offering of a condensate tank pump to provide an even better solution for condensate removal applications in tight spaces. Uh, mm -hmm. We upgraded that with our new model called the VCCA. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess, you know, at the the bottom line, Little Giant is really focused on product innovation, uh, yeah. improvement, along with providing the best products and services to our customers. We we live by that uh, day in and day out. So that's kind of the, the top three most recent things that uh, we've been working on and, and have introduced to the market. Good. Good to hear. So now 80 years is a long time, obviously. What what uh, are there any uh, kind of activities centered around, I guess, the 80th uh, anniversary? That's quite a milestone. <laughs> it is. Yeah, to celebrate, actually, uh, the company's 80th anniversary, Little Giant has introduced a uh, revitalized brand look, feel, and promise to reflect mm -hmm. the company and its products. So we're mm -hmm. extremely excited about that. Marketing team is uh, doing an extraordinary job. We were coming out with our, uh, our brand lift campaign. And, mm -hmm. you know, 80 years of experience in innovation, manufacturing expertise, and technical support. Uh, unheard of. We're proud of where we've been and extremely excited about uh, where we're going. 
little mm-hmm. giant is, you know, we pumped a lot of water in the past 80 years. And, <laughs> and there's and there's much more to look forward to uh, in the next 80 and beyond. Well, that's a that's a perfect way to end our conversation. Thanks for coming on and talking to about 80 years. And here's to the next 80 years, I guess, Rob. You know, and, Steve, uh, I just wanted to take a moment and thank you for the opportunity to yeah, discuss the Little welcome. Giant brand. Today and provide your listeners with our history of why Little Giant should be the brand of choice. Good. Good to hear. Well, I hope I uh, get a chance to see you in Vegas next year for AHR. I think everybody's hoping for the return right. of that show. I hope so. Good, and good, good. I look good. forward to, to getting together. Right. Thanks for the time today, Steve. I really appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now.